Hello guys, it's Jessica here and welcome back to Star Stable. If you're new to my channel, make sure to subscribe so you get a notification when I post new videos of Star Stable or any other games. And of course, hit that little bell in the corner so you get the notifications right away as well. We are back in the home stable and there's a very special day today because there's some new quarter horses at uh, the ranch, but also in Fort Pintas. So I think we should definitely check them all out because they look amazing. Yes, I have ha have had a little sneak peek because they look so beautiful on the trailer. So I had to go in to the game and have a look. But the tricky part is to choose the right one. I kind of have a fi favorite. I cannot talk favorite as well, but. I don't know, I maybe need another look so I can choose the right one. So I think we're gonna go over to Fort Pinta first and have a look at that horse. And then we're gonna go to the ranch and check out the other horses. All right, here we are. And here is the first beauty that looks so beautiful. This is basically my favorite though, because I love details on the horse, like the white blaze, the white socks and the color of the horse. It's also, or a coat of the horse, it's quite beautiful. So let's read about the American Quarter Horse. At the forefront of the American frontier is a faithful companion who has played an instrumental role in shaping the rich culture and untamed spirit of historical North America. Sturdy yet agile, swift yet tranquil, tra tranquil? Tranquil. This is the American Quarter Horse. The American Quarter Horse originated from the early colonists breeding their English stallions with the in Indianus? Uh, Indianus? I have no clue. What? Indigenous or something like that? Chickasaw people's mirrors. Both horses can be traced back to the fairly barb horse. The mounts of early Spanish explorers. Fame fell upon the American Quarter Horse during the 19th century when they gained a reputation in Texas for their racing capabilities. Capabilities, yes, wow. Capabilities and skill for drive cattle. One famous American Quarter Horse called Steel Dust established fame for his untamed skill as a quarter mile match racer. Steel Dust's descendants were highly sought after by after by cowboys due to their speed and agility. Horses of this nature were often nicknamed steel dusts. Through it all, the tough as nails American Quarter Horse endured the hardest, the hardest of times on a forgiving American frontier, helping cowboys and, ra and ranchers make a home in the unforgiving Wild West. The American Quarter Horse has a stocky silhouette defined by their dense muscle structure. Despite the powerful frame, they, they excel, at spring, what, excel at sprinting short distance and are remarkably sure-footed. All right. Today, the robust American Quarter Horse remains an integral part of North American culture, featuring in rodeos, western pleasure race, what, western pleasure, western pleasure racing, and more. If you are looking for a trustworthy companion that captures the sightest of the Wild West, you will find a dear friend in American Quarter Horse. Come rain or shine, the American Quarter Horse is a partner for life. Aha, uh -huh, some very interesting word there that was difficult for me to pronounce, but I have to say that this is my favorite so far because we have a darker brown one. We have black horses and we have, yeah, I think that was that. We do, I don't think we have this kind of coat though. All right, let's go to the Starshine Ranch and have a look at the other ones. All right, back at this beautiful stable. And yes, people, I have decided I'm gonna move my home stable to here. And I think we're gonna do it today. So I have to because it's so beautiful here. All right, let's have a look at the other horses. Yeah, they are also quite special. Look at this black beauty here. 
It has white socks, big white place over the face, and also a little white detail on the end of his tail. But as I said, we already have a black horse in our stable though. I think we have two. Or I need to check up on that. It's quite beautiful though. And then we have this dark brown that has white, nope, white, black socks actually. And black details on the mole here. And then we have this beauty that has some light brown or white kind of on the top and brown socks, brown details on his head, a white lace. And there will come new colors as well, but I will definitely buy one today. And then when we get some new colors, we can maybe buy a second one because they are so beautiful. And we for sure need some Western equipment, gear, come on. Hmm. Now I think the one in Fort Pinta is still my favorite though. Because of the coat, basically. So, we will not wait any longer. Let's go to Fort Pinta and buy that beauty. Alright. Just click on her. And buy horse. And now, the naming process begin. And that will take a lot of time. So I will <laughs> skip through that and we will meet again in the home stable. All right, let's see. Oh, here she is. And her name is Sun Mystery. Well, because of her story though, like the Wild West and West kind of you have the temperature and uh, riding under the sun and so on. So here is that beautiful horse. Let's get down from our fantasy horse, basically. <laughs> And get in. Oh my gosh, look at those details. She's so adorable. Oh, she's posing. <laughs> but I really want to take her to Starshine Ranch and check out a race with her, basically. Oh, you're so cute. I can't handle. But we need some nice gear for her while we are waiting to get the perfect one for her like western gear so let's put this horse into the stable box and i think i will kind of borrow that one because that had the western style kind of and also i maybe need to take my cowboy hat that i have in my inventory or my closet and then we was actually helping Marley with some barrels for a barrel race, so that would be perfect quest for today since we've already done things around Starshine Ranch, but I kind of want the western th theme to continue for today since we have both a quarter horse or American quarter horse. Let's see. I just need to borrow your equipment, darling. Thank you. And then I will also check in here for some cowboy kind of qu quest yeah that was what i'm supposed to say you no know, i think we are equipped for this uh particular episode so let's equip our rider here with all the cowboy stuff oh she looks perfect okay we will definitely get some other shoes so maybe we should keep or have these for now Ooh, i don't know we will definitely buy some new shoes why am I saying shoes all the time? Shoes for today. All right, I kind of like this outfit though. It's so cute. All right, let's now take the equipment on Sun Mystery or Sunny as uh, her nickname will be. Ooh. Oh, she's so cute. I can't handle. All right, that's on. Let's take on the other ones as well. And let's ride. And she will have her head down. All the time, I think. Oh, she looks awesome. All right, let's go to Starshine Ranch and find some shoes and try a race and help Morley with a barrel race. And we're also gonna do one more thing here. We're actually gonna move our home stable to here because it's too beautiful to not, to not do it. Like, 
come on. It's everything from the music, everything from how it looks like. It's just too beautiful. So let's click. Make this my home stable for 25 stair coins. Yes, please. And there we go. All right. Let's now have a short look into the shop to find some nice cowboy boots for our outfit. I actually like our outfit quite well. I didn't thought we had that much kind of stuff we can use. And of course we will need to give uh, Honey here some new equipment as well. But I will wait a bit with that because I kind of like the equipment she has on now. but. We still need some more. <laughs> but they are expensive and I will try to use Jorvik shillings. So I will save up each time for like the saddle is 10,000 and 10,000 is your limit. So yeah. Oh, she's so pretty. I can't handle how pretty she is. All right. We were supposed to find. Yeah, I really like this sweater slash tonic. I'm not sure what it's called in English though, but in Norwegian is tunica, but I'm not sure if you say the same in English, but I will check it out. All right, let's go for shoes and see what kind of boots we can get. It's basically matching kind of, I think the light ones was the best, but I also like the low shoes together with this one though. And since the boots are black and the saddle are black, it's matching basically. But we need some cowboy boots for sure. And these are cool, aren't they? And they have the same stats. Yeah, no, not this one actually. But that's cheaper than the other two. I think we will go for this one. Yes, please. So there we go. We will wait with other things right now because we are so in the racing mode. Oh, that was a very cool horse. Oh my gosh. Where's that from? Awesome. <laughs> All right, horsey, let's try out a race, shall we? I think we will go easy and try a barrel race, actually. <laughs> I'm not so good with the pole bending race because they are turning too fast. All right, horsey. Ah, I'm not good at this either. Oh no, we were gonna start over again. Sorry, horsey. <laughs> All right, let's see what you can do here. Ooh, there we go. Oh, look at the horse. It's so beautiful. She's go she goes around these barrels like she did it all her life, basically. Oh, look how, how she stops though. Awesome. Oh, I just love her even more now. Like she's amazing. I'm so beautiful. Like what? <laughs> that was a nice stop. Oh, if you click space when they stand still, they will do that. Amazing. She's just so beautiful. Oh, I can't stop staring at this beautiful horse though. All right, you guys, let's head over to Marley. So we will have time for that as well to help him with barrel racing. But I don't see any, let's see. Maybe that's taken away since the barrel racing is moved over here. Klaus story. Can you smell the smoke? Let's see. Yeah, I think we took the barrels to Conrad. Let's have a go over there and have a look. All right, here we are. Let's talk to Conrad to see if this barrels is over by his place. If he's working with it. I think he did though. Hey Conrad, look at my awesome new horse. Through blacksmith, new iron for the barrels. Aha. The wood for the barrels is ready. Now we need more iron for the hoofs around the barrels. 
Go pick some more iron ore from the Damascus mine. Borrow my pickaxe and break some iron ore that I can use to forge the hoops for the barrels. All right, I will do right away. And then we can explore Moreland with a new horse. Or well, we have explored Moreland, but our horse will see Moreland for the first time. Oh, she's so beautiful. Like, what? Okay, horsey, you're gonna stay over here while I do the hard work. You can just look here. Stay here and look pretty. <laughs> Is it just me or has she got better animations when it comes to working on those iron rocks? I don't know. <laughs> Looks like it. All right, horsey, back to Conrad Marston with the iron ore. All right, we have it. Good, Stella. Now I'm going to force some hoops for those barrels. It will take a while, but it's going to be worth it. This will be the best barrels in Jorvik. Will he get finished barrels? No clock there. I didn't realize making barrels could be such a hard work. Look, Stella. The best barrels Jorvik has ever seen. Take them back to Morley and use them with pride. I will definitely... Oh, what a cute little pony you have there. With a very cute... Squirrel? Okay, back to Morley. All right, here we are. It's been a while now, actually, since we have been occupied with Goldleaf Stables. Uh, whoa, Silverglade Manor. And Starshine Ranch, though. Hey, Morley. Where have you been? Uh, like, everywhere? <laughs> How could it take so long to repair a couple of barrels? Well, that's actually my fault because I have been everywhere around Yorick recently. <laughs> Sorry! What? The blacksmith has worked day and night to make me, make me new barrels? That should last hundreds of years? Oh, oh, I wonder how much this is going to cost me. I only want him to replace a board or two. I don't know. Sorry, Marley. While you were gone, I read the rule book on how barrel racing is done, Stella. Behind my house, I have made marks on the ground where the barrels should be. You only need to ride over there and put them down in the right place. Then we are ready to go. All right, then. I will do it right away with my new fancy horse. Oh. I want. I have to be dismounted. That's our cry. That's our cry. What? That's okay. Totally out of it today. That's for sure. <laughs> but I'm too excited because we have a new horse, and she's so beautiful. Oh, we actually have another hat, as I can see. Maybe that's better for us. Yeah, we can keep the one we have now. <laughs> All right. Well, let's go back to Morley, and hopefully, we can test out this barrel race as well. And our horse will get more XP, so maybe go up to level 2. Alright, Marley, the barrels are out. Yeehaw! Well done, Stella! Are you ready for a little barrel racing? Oh yes, I am. My brother, the inspector, of course. Right now, we just need to get the course approved. Can you ride over to my brother Carney and ask him to come over here and inspect it? I know it sucks. Not to be able to raise it right away, but if he don't get the pro if we don't get the approval, I can't open it to the public. All right, I will be right back then. Hey, Carney, Marley need your help for some inspection of a riding. What? A barrel race for a barrel race. There we go. <laughs> I see. My brother wants me to come and inspect his crazy new race course. I have a lot to do today that can't wait. But maybe tomorrow we will see. So we will not be able to do that race until tomorrow then. Ah. All right, then we actually need to wait, you guys. Even that I really wanted to test it out because we are in the Western kind of style. And also race and equipment and horse and all. But we will wait, we will wait. But I also see we are actually out of time already. So we are now standing here in front of Silver Glade Manor, but we will of course return to Stash and Ranch. Again, uh, we don't have any quest right now there, but 
we have moved our home stable to that ranch and I'm excited, so excited for that. And a horse is just so beautiful. Oh, look at her. She's, she's amazing. And she actually fits this particular gear quite well, but I don't think it has very much stats. No, actually no thing. It's Happy Holiday from Star Stable 2019, so <laughs> we'll definitely buy some equipment for her that has some stats for sure. But I really like her outfit though, so I I think I don't need to buy a brand new outfit for a rider though, since we have the hat, we have this beautiful sweater tunica or something like that, and good pants, and the only thing we bought was cowboy boots. That looks awesome. And of course we also bought this beauty today and I love her. Sun Mystery is her name, but her nickname is Sunny at the moment. <laughs> so you guys, let me know what do you think about the new American Quarter Horses. I'm in love with them. They have so much detail. Look at the animations and how she actually have this going around in circles. It's quite cool. And also how she stops when you run fast. It's also... Oh, I will not keep that. It's super cool. She's amazing. We will definitely use her for some episodes now, that's for sure. And I will train her so she will run faster. And of course, we're going to get some good gear for her. So, in the next episode, I think we should go back to Golden Leaf. No, <laughs> Golden Hills Valley to have a look at some more quests there <sighs> and so on and so on. I see we have so many quests like everywhere now so yeah can be tricky to choose what to prioritize basically but yeah I'm looking forward to the next episode with this beauty here and I hope you are looking forward to it too and like I said let me know what you think about the new quarter horse what kind of quarter horse did you get or American quarter horse and I hope you enjoy your time at Starshade Ranch as well. So give a thumbs up if you liked the video. Don't forget to subscribe, share it with your friends, and I see you in the next episode. Bye!